correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I got the impression that the translators themselves would have agreed with with the conclusions of your book, especially with verbal equivalence, based on what they wrote in the translators to the readers, which was the, the preface, the prefatory section that they had to the King James. And you had some quotations of that in, I think it was on page 20 of your book. Yeah, it's and right here. The, the, yeah, the translators, and there was that, that last quotation that they had in that section where the translator said, and hereunto that niceness in words was always counted the next step to trifling and so was to be curious about names, too. Also, that we cannot follow a better pattern for elocution than God himself. Therefore, he using diverse words in his holy writ and indifferently for one thing in nature, we, if we will not be superstitious, may use the same liberty in our English versions out of Hebrew and Greek for that copy or store that he hath given us. So I, I, based on that, I get the impression that the translators themselves recognized God's usage of uh, verbal equivalence, which meant that they, they felt that they also had that liberty to employ verbal equivalence in their translation. Am I, am I off base there? Do, do you agree well, with that? If words mean anything, which are on the screen there, I believe, right? It's still being shared. <laughs> they are, yes. If if words mean anything, that's what they said. Right. They and they would know because they're looking at the Hebrew and Greek as they right. do their work of translating. Right. Uh, or more accurately, revising the Bishop's Bible um, based upon the Hebrew and Greek prior English Bibles, and other translations into foreign languages, just like they said in the Epistle Dedicatory and elsewhere in the preface. Right. I, you know, I, and I thought this was an argument I needed to be making weeks ago. And I, but that the, if, if you really look at the translators to the readers, they, they also reinforce the idea of God using verbal equivalence. And yes. um, that uh, so I would argue the translators themselves would agree with the 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 uh, concepts behind Brian and David's book. So, OK, now and, I, and this I, right here on 19 reasons inducing us not to stand curiously upon an identity of phrasing. Another thing right. we think good to admonish the of general reader is that we have not tied ourselves to an uniformity right. of phrasing or to an identity of words as some peradventure wish we had done. Right. They are very clear that as long as a word in its usage was accurate to the text, that they were not going to use the same English word everywhere to capture what was in the Hebrew and Greek. Right. 